Hello, beloved community, and happy sixth Sunday of Easter. Today, I'm going to be looking at a passage from the book of Acts, where the Holy Spirit is poured out on people that some of the original followers of Jesus don't even expect, making the people of God more open and more inclusive, because that is what the Holy Spirit does. Hello, beloved community. It's good to be with you today. I love in the season of Easter that the lectionary provides us with all these fun stories from Acts, because Acts is our story. The book of Acts is the book of the stories of Jesus's followers continuing to do the work of God, even though Jesus is no longer physically, humanly with them, they are continuing his work empowered by the Holy Spirit. And we too, as the people of God, are empowered by the Holy Spirit to continue Jesus's work as well. In this story, Peter is speaking to Gentiles, uncircumcised people, people who would have been excluded um, from the Jewish temple, people who were not in the inner circle. And as Peter is speaking the good news, guess who shows up? The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is poured out on these people and the people of God, Jesus' followers, they see it and they know it. And in this moment of realizing that the Holy Spirit isn't a finite resource, that the Holy Spirit isn't just poured out on maybe the people we think it's poured out on, Peter is also moved by the Holy Spirit to realize, well, dang, if you have the Holy Spirit, then who am I to say that you are not a part of this? Who am I to ever withhold God's baptismal waters from you? Who am I? to withhold something from you. And so um, the so then everybody's baptized and the church in this beautiful moment becomes more open, more inclusive. And Jesus's followers realize that what the Holy Spirit was doing was moving all of our hearts to see God's inclusivity, to see God's openness. I love this story because it's always a great story because I think as church people, we spend a lot of time thinking about who's in and who's out and who's included and what hoops you got to jump through or rules you got to follow in order to be a Christian. And here we see plain and simple that the Holy Spirit often shows up to stir our hearts to be more open, to be more inclusive, not to withhold grace, not to withhold baptism, not to withhold the table, not to withhold resources, but to be more open and to be open to sharing what God has given us so freely. I think this is a particularly good story for us right now. Um, my heart was moved reading this story to think about um, the institutional church that is, you know, many of which are making preparations to open back up and meet in person again in some capacity. And I think this is a beautiful thing. Um, what a beautiful gift from God to be able to gather again in beloved community in person. But I was thinking about how there is this um, temptation to get back to business as usual, like, and pretend like this last year, this really hard year for a lot of us, didn't happen. And as I said, get back to business as usual. But what if, just like in this story, the Holy Spirit is showing up um, to stir all of our hearts, not to get back to business as usual, but to see where we can be more open and more inclusive. Um, maybe the Holy Spirit is encouraging us to open back up and do things a little differently. Open back up and be a little more open. Open back up and be a little more inviting, a little more hospitable, a little more gracious with God's waters. And a little more gracious with our resources. 
Peter says, who am I to withhold the baptismal waters from the people of God? Who are we to withhold anything that belongs to God from the people of God? So as we think about coming back to our um, sanctuaries, our buildings, what are we withholding? And what can be more graciously shared? What can be more graciously opened? How can we open our hearts to let the Holy Spirit show up and do what the Holy Spirit does, which is stir us up, cause a little good trouble, make us be a little more open, a little more inclusive, a little more inviting to the people of God.